Yeah, midday at 12.30, Tinder rolls out a new app that could save your life. All while dating, we have the details ahead. Plus, the professionals ride into town this weekend for the National PBR Bull Riding Tour. We have a preview of what you can expect. This is Midday Kentucky. Friday. Thanks for joining us on Midday at 1230. I'm Amber Freeman. And I'm Monica Shear. It's Friday. Yes. And it's rainy. Casual. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, I'm jealous. I, well, you know, I, I left I just my house. just have a shoe on. I had my purse in my, or my dress in my purse because that's how I roll. And then I'm trying to get in here with my kids' shorts over my head because I didn't have an umbrella. Her hair. Uh -huh, to try and cover. I don't think that it did much no, of anything. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about my my relaxed choices today. So, so I was night side last night, which mm. usually just screws up everything for me. I thought I would be completely dead today. Plus it's raining, which yeah. just makes it a nap day. Yeah. No, I'm ready to go. She's this very rarely hyped up people. <laughs> you know what's zing, happening. Zing, zing. Um, any big weekend plans? Any big weekend plans? I don't, you know, I don't think so. We've still got kids playing basketball and, you know, doing the Doing the mom thing, I think, is the big excitement for my weekend, but the rodeo's in town. It's not a rodeo, just Listen. bull riding. Just is there I act like that's that's a main event of rodeo. I'm gonna sound really like dumb, I guess, but there's a difference between like a rodeo and a bull rider. We'll ask Brian. We okay. have a professional bull rider okay, here. Good. He can I need break to be, it down. I need some clarification. Do, do you, I don't have the answers <sighs> ever. Okay, okay. Speaking of uh, mm. answers, though, yes, <laughs> you're married, so you yes. probably don't use this app. Um, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Tinder. Tinder. Have you ever been on Tinder? I've not. I have not. I, have I, I haven't either, so I don't. I, I don't. I don't know how it really works. But the dating apps always kind of creep me out because, well, dating in general just creeps I, me I'm out. Just, I, I'm not envious of that whole world. I, I can. I can be truthful in that because, ooh, it is scary. Well, and a lot of times, even in the news, we do stories where somebody met somebody on this app. They go home with them, blah 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 blah, and then you know the rest. Mm. It's like bad Lifetime movie, which yeah. is not Somebody's something to joke about. But mm. yeah. apparently, Tinder now wants you to feel free from danger while you're on your Tinder dates. Mm -hmm. The dating app announced it's adding new safety features. One is a panic button. I guess on the phone, users can mm. hit in case something goes wrong during a date. Emergency dispatch will be called to the location. Also, users can check in to let their friends know where they are. The free tools can be found in a new section of the app called the Safety Center. They should be available soon, January 28th. Do you think these will make mm -hmm. a difference? I mean, I would like to think, yes, it'll make a difference, but I'm just, I mean, do you really feel like people have to use those that often? Yes, I do. I think people are crazy. I mean, I think people are crazy too, but I don't know. Like, that's just scary that that's... A necessity, I guess, right now. Like, here's a panic button on your phone on this app to where you don't get put in somebody's freezer later. I don't know. But this is my thing with the with the panic button. It's basically just calling 911 or calling dispatch. Still, the time that it takes for somebody right. to come out and get you may not do that. I think it's really, really great that the app and the organization is taking the initiative right. to put it out there. If anything, maybe it'll just raise awareness that hey, you really don't know this person and. Right. You need to be a little bit aware of your situation, your surroundings. You should always let your friends know, I feel, yeah, where PSA, you are. Yeah, always let your friends know. Have somebody else, like, track your phone. Like, tracking apps right, are not always, like, idea. the worst thing on the planet. And just go someplace public. Like, I'm not, yeah. not going to meet you at a gas station, fella. Well, so that's my ideal date. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> Look at all the chips in the gas <laughs> station. I mean, <laughs> come on. Hot dogs just ready. <laughs> Down. 7 Eleven cookies Down. and some coffee. Okay, hello. Don't go meet them in the mm. middle of the woods. Gas stations are okay if that's They're your well thing. They're well lit, I guess, but you know. Oy. Well, st Oy. stay with us because coming up, if you, if you have a gas station date, please tell us. Please. We'll learn more about the Kentucky Historical Society. We'll be right back.